Vanguard 1 was launched on March 17, 1958 at 12.15 UTC on the Vanguard TV-4 rocket from Launch Complex 18A at Cape Canaveral. Its goal was to test the Vanguard rocket, which was a three-stage rocket with an air-started second stage, unlike the two successful orbital rockets up to that point, Sputnik and Juno-1, which were deliberately designed so that all liquid engines were started on the ground. TV-4 stood for Test Vehicle 4, indicating that the Vanguard rocket had not reached operational status. Vanguard 1 was a mere 1.47 kilograms and 6.4 inches in diameter, and yet had the distinction of being the first solar-powered satellite. That allowed it to remain in communication until 1964 for around six years. The solar cells powered a 5 milliwatt transmitter. The long tracking time allowed researchers to determine asymmetries in the shape of the Earth and also to calculate the drag experienced by object in orbit, which is higher than expected. Vanguard 1 was launched into a 654 by 3969 kilometer orbit, and with that high orbit, it was expected to stay in orbit for 2000 years. After measuring its orbit, it was discovered that it would only stay in orbit for around 240 years. It is, of course, still in orbit, and is the oldest man-made satellite in orbit, along with the solid fuel third stage of the Vanguard rocket. Initially, a conical shape was proposed for the probe to negate the need for a fairing, but it was changed to a sphere so that it would have a constant drag coefficient, and also a constant reflection for optical tracking. This flight was just a lightweight test for the larger 10.8 kg Vanguard 2 and 22.7 kg Vanguard 3, but it nevertheless produced interesting results. It was also the first success for the tiny 10-ton Vanguard launcher in three tries after some embarrassing failures. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Vanguard 1.